good day all this video is all about finding the, the value of x and y now let's begin you have x minus the square root of y equal to 7 equation 1 then the square root of x minus y equal to minus 1 equation 2 now adding equation 1 and equation 2 together you now have x minus the square root of y plus square root of x minus y equal to 7 plus minus 1 so now what we're going to do we rearrange this Take the the non the non rational numbers together and the rational numbers together. So now let's begin. Let's start out the arrangement. So now you have x. Now you say x minus y. These are the non rational numbers. So now the radical numbers you have plus square root of x minus square root of y. This is equal to what six. Now we According to from sort rule, we know that the square root of x all squared is equal to x. The square root of y all squared is equal to y. So now applying this rule here, now wherever we see x we replace it with this, wherever we see y we replace it with this. So now that's what we're going to do here. Do on these two terms, not on this side. So this rules only affects these two so now we're going to now we're going to now do that so now we're doing this so we say the square root of x all squared minus the square root of y all squared plus the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to six now this expression is the same thing as saying a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b so so that means this is simply as saying the square root of x minus the square root of y times the square root of x plus the square root of y plus the square root of x minus the square root of y equal to six now dividing both sides now if you check that this value is common so since it's common, we we'll factor it out. So now we now have the square root of x minus the square root of y. Now if you use the square root of x minus the square root of y to divide this, what is left is the square root of x plus the square root of y. If you use it to divide this, they are the same, so it will be plus 1, which is equal to 6. Now this 6, what are the two factors of 6 that when you multiply them together it will still give you 6 so now you have 1 and 6 6 and 1 you have 2 and 3 3 and 2 minus 1 is minus 6 minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that means the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to. Now, this one is this first serial numbers. This first numbers. The second number is this, which is this. So now let's, let's begin. So we have 1. 6, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 6, minus 2, minus 3. Now, you now have the square root of x plus the square root of y plus 1 is equal to 6, 1, 3, 2, minus 6, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2. So now, let's call this equation 3, equation 4. Now, adding equation 3 and 4, you have this radical, you cancel out because 
it has opposite sign so now you now have what we what we now get at the left hand side is 2 root x plus 1 which is equal to 1 plus 6 is 7 this is 7 this is 5 5 this will give you minus 7 minus 7 minus 5 minus 5 so if you this plus one if you move it to this other side it becomes minus one here yeah, so so you now have two root x moving this you have seven minus one which is six this one is seven minus one six five minus one four five minus one four this is minus eight minus eight Minus six, minus six. So divide all through by two. Divide all through by two. So now this will cancel like this. You have the square root of x and three. This is three. This is three. This is two. This one is minus four. Minus four. Minus three. Minus three. So this is not a solution since x should be greater than zero, y should be greater than zero. So now we will not consider only this. So with that, squaring both sides, we now have x is equal to nine nine four four. So for x equal to 9, square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to 1 and 6. So this is 1 and 6. So now substitution x equal to 9, we have square root of 9 minus the square root of y equal to 1 and 6. This will give you 3 minus the square root of 1 equal to 1. Six. So now moving this to this other side, you have minus the square root of one equal to this one will not give you minus two, this one will give you three. So multiple dividing all three by minus one. You have the square root of one equal to two minus three. So since y should be greater than zero x should be greater than zero this is not a solution now squaring both sides you have uh, y is equal to four so so four so four x equal to Four. x equal to 4, you have the square root of x minus the square root of y equal to 1, equal to not 1, equal to, equal to this and this, so it's 2 and 3. So now, if you now put, if you anyway see um, x, you substitute 4, you, you replace it with 4. So we have the square root of 4 minus square root of y is equal to 2 and 3. So this will now be square root of 4 is 2 minus square root of y is equal to 2 or 3. So moving this to this other side, you have minus square root of y equal to 0 and 1. So dividing all three by minus 1. You now have square root of y equal to 0 and minus 1. So since y and x should be greater than 0, then this is not a solution. So the only solution here is x equal to 9 and y equal to 4. So now let's substitute into the equation to see whether it works. You have 
x minus the square root of y equal to 7. And you have square root of x minus y equal to minus 1. So now let's see the first equation. Let's start with the first equation. The first equation, x is 9 minus the square root of 4. You have what? 9 minus 2, which is 7. The next one, the square root of 9 minus 4 is equal to 3 minus 4. Which will give you minus one. So, so that means this is a solution. So the final solution is x is equal to nine and y is equal to four. So that is it. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thank you.